Hey guys, Lagatu here. First time doing commentary in a while, and it looks like we had a Warden versus Wardens deck. Now, in the current meta, I'd say Wardens are the probably the best squad. Just my opinion, but uh, their uh, Summon Wisp duty guy, Summon Wisp, is really, really hard to deal with, and um, we're going to see how that works out this time. This guy, he's got the Veldon's Promise epic, uh, so that's uh, the best power. Although I've got uh, Crystal Shield, which is not bad, so he's got a little bit of advantage. But this deck has actually never lost, so either it's about to lose for the first time, or it's gonna beat a really strong deck from a player who looks like he's really strong too. My hand is not super great. I've got Shrivel. Strong Roots is really good if I have a board advantage, but um, but Wardens versus Wardens is a little weird. Lots of high mana. Guys, and what the heck is that guy? What is that? So my deck is actually pretty decent Warden against Warden, I think, because I'm gonna have, I have two Acorn Assaults. In this deck, an acorn assault does. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Acorn assault does one to four damage to every single enemy minion. And so. That's going to hit all of his uh, his wisps as well, assuming I can draw it, which really would be nice because I have a lot of mana. As you can see, I'm building up a lot of mana here. I have four mana. Next turn, I have potentially up to eleven, which is really crazy. And I actually want to just spend as much as I can because I need to get some better cards. I'm lacking a lot of good power cards, but I got some free chip damage early on, so that was nice. And wow, he's just blocking the best he can with uh, that Wisp. So that's a pretty interesting decision. Um, I wonder what his hand's like. So the nice thing about Veldon's Promise is that, wow. 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 Holy smokes. Okay, that was crazy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stomp him now. Um, so now this guy's gonna die. I'm gonna spend like all these cards that I'm trying to get rid of. And then I'm gonna spend that because that only gives him one buff and then next turn I'll be ready to throw out Terminus. Wow, um, so I don't know what his deck is based around, but. And so one interesting decision is I, I made I made just made is to kill his range unit instead of uh, attacking the crystal. I could have got the crystal on the four. I just think it is vital to maintain board dominance against um, against Wardens. So here, this turn's gonna be really good. Oh, I actually can't deploy Omnius. I'm okay with that. Um, do I wanna flatten? I think I wanna save that for a unit. It's actually too good. Because that shrivel flatten combo is an instant kill on any unit. But I couldn't play Omnius there because I already had five units on the board because my KO'd units still count as units on the board. Which is a shame because I wanted to hit this crystal for four instead of two. But um, I did get the chance. Looks like he's going to remove Terminus, so he's not going to remove. Okay, so he, he removed it with that. But that was a really expensive removal. He had to spend a ton of... Um, 
ton of uh, mana to remove it, and as a result, he didn't get to play anything else. And so now... So we're just gonna keep throwing units at him, because this this deck is now snowballed out of control. So I'm a little bummed out that I didn't need to really show off this deck too well, because this kind of ended up being a uh, a draw win, I guess, based on my early snowball. But that's really how um, wardens tend to work these days. You start off really slow, and you hope that, wow, um, you hope that he can't kill you in time before you build up a snowball with seven mana turns every turn because of your wisps. And uh, in Wardens versus Wardens, you tend to get that snowball for free, um, and so often you have like seven mana turns versus seven mana turns. This is what it lets him play all these really expensive removal cards like Fist of the Gods, um, because he has that extra mana per turn. He's getting... Seven mana, not five. Unfortunately, he's still been using those powerful removal cards kind of inefficiently. He used both of them to remove four mana units. Um, so it kind of doesn't matter. So now I'm, I've got this acorn assault. This card is this is my insurance policy because this is probably going to remove both of his wisps. And um, I'm just happy to throw units at him. And I'm going to waste a little bit of mana here. When you end the turn with more, six or more mana, you're going to waste some. Because you only fill back up to ten. Plus one for each wisp. But my hand is really strong. Eight corner salt, shrivel flatten, and Loki. Um, which is a really, really solid guy and I want to use Loki as a finisher because if I kill one of these crystals I'll be able to deploy on this rank here which means that Loki can instantly be summoned and then attack the crystal and uh, if he can't remove the mushroom then it will just end immediately okay so it's over now oh it's not over because I can't actually summon Loki <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Can I do something cute to like... Oh, okay, I think I can, I think I can still do it. Alright. Alright, I've never done this before. Never done this before. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! What a finisher. All right, I've been waiting to pull a combo like that. That's great. So that let me. Uh, oh, look at that! And I got the champion rank too. So that let me that let me get up to five units on the board because I actually killed one of my own units to make space for it. So anyway, let's take a quick look at this deck. So you can steal it. I relies on a lot of premium cards. Uh, the strong roots is insane. One mana, give all heroes. It gives your enemy heroes plus one as well, but if you clear all their units off the board and you only have your units left, then it's free plus one for all your units. Um, mana seeds, also amazing. If you have five cards in your hand and you have mana seeds, you're reducing the cost of four cards by one, and it costs two mana, so it's net plus two mana. Really efficient, always good. Um, flatten, amazing, two or less HP automatic KO for two mana, really, really efficient. Um, shrivel, with a lot of ranged units, it's basically a free removal. Um, doesn't counter armor very well, but it's not too bad. Um, Savage Strength is really good, because... Even though it gives plus two to everything on the board, if this you know, this this deck is really ranged unit heavy, and uh, if you're using ranged units against non-ranged units, it doesn't matter how much attack they have. It only matters if you can KO them. And uh, 
it ends up being really useful. And it also gives your wisps potentially a surprise roll on the attack, bringing them from zero attack to two. Uh, Vivian is great, or sorry, Viridian is great. Um, I've been waiting to use a Viridian plus flatten combo, basically by flattening Viridian herself, um, to buff all, well, ally units with plus two attack. Um, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, growth Spurt is amazing. Um, instant double and combined with Terminus, which right now is the best card in the game. Uh, seven mana, five ten, basically forces everybody to run hard removal. Um, the, the combos in this deck are just amazing, and you almost always have the mana to use them because of the summon wisp. It's really hard for your opponents to clear out your wisps and knock out your mana engine. Um, and then Acorn Assault is really good against the current meta, which is a lot of kind of low HP uh, glass cannon heroes. Um, if they build up too much and invest too much in their army um, and it's too fragile, you can pretty much just knock them out in one go uh, and just completely wreck the game with that uh, card alone. So anyway, um, definitely, if you haven't been playing out with Wardens, you haven't been playing with Wardens lately, uh, the current patch, they're really strong, so give it a spin and uh, hope to see you on.